Overwolf. This is probably the best software that can help you create software like extensions or in-game applications for specific games. So in this tutorial we're going to be setting it up and see how it works. The first thing that you have to do is go to the Overwolf site and download it. You can find it in clicking by clicking App Store. Download Overwolf. After you download it, just install it the simple way. Nothing special there. When we have the Overwolf installed, the next part will be to have some tools set up as well. One of the tools we need is Node.js. You might already have it, but if you don't, you just go to Node.js.org and then download the latest version and then just install it. Nothing special there as well. Usually Overwolf, if you check the documentation, suggests to you that the first application that you're going to be testing will be the sample application, but we're not going to do that because there is, I think, a better option there. We would like to use this repository, which is Overwolf Modern React Boilerplate. In order to use this, there is one more thing that we need besides Node.js. We need also Python to be installed on our machine. So we just go to python.org, uh, go to download and download Python. When installing Python, what you need to do is check the add Python to the path option. So check that part. This is very important because when we have uh, our project later on, we will need to have the Python keyword accessible in our terminal. So if we're using uh, Visual Studio Code and if we type Python in the terminal, it should work. The next step after installing Python, you have to restart your computer just because when you're adding your, a new path to the Windows, it's um, it will not update always. So in order to update, it needs to restart. After that, our next step will be to open our registry. When we type reg inside the search bar, we will see the registry editor, click on it. And inside here, we need to go to the folder HK, current user, software, and inside of it, we can see Overwolf. Now, there might be created folder here that's called CAF. And if there is not, just create one. And the next step is just to create a key, which will be just click, right click on the white space, new and string value, call it enable features, double click on it, and inside the value data, enable dev tools. After that, the next step will be to go to the Overwolf Modern React Boilerplate. And because we're going to be using this project, when we scroll down a bit, we can see how it's, how we should create it, which you can just copy from here or type it yourself. So when we copy this, and let's say we're going to be using Visual Studio Code in this tutorial, just go to the specific folder you want to create the package and paste the code and click enter. After the project is created, we just go to the folder, which is my app, and then we run npm run build. After everything is built, we just run the npm run pack overwolf. The next step will be to go to the My Application folder. In Source, in Application, we can see constant TS file, which contains everything um, about the events that we're going to be receiving from the specific game. Currently, this project is working with Hearthstone, which you can see the link above. If we go in this link, we can see everything about this game, uh, all the events that are going to be returned from it. So currently, every game that you can find in the Overwolf, you can see the game ID above, over here, which is very important. Every game has a specific game ID, so you need that. In our case, we want to change this from Hearthstone. We would like to change it to have a different game, uh, which will be Path of Exile in our case. And that's why we're going on the side here. We can find our game, just copy the event ID, the game ID, and we would like to replace that, the previous game ID, which is 9898, with the new one, which is 7212. When we go back to the project, we can just search for 9898. 
and we can see every bit of file that's containing the 98 ID. So let's replace everything here with our new ID. We're not going to be renaming this uh, Hearthstone and anything like that. You can just do it on your own for your game that you're going to be changing. And of course, we're going to be saving everything. So just this is an example how you can do it for a different game. Let's go back to our application constants. The next thing that we want to see here, and actually the next thing we want to change here, is the required features. So this is everything that's being returned from Overwolf that our game can give us this information. So every game has different information. That's why we're going to be checking everything that Path of Exile has. So when we go to Path of Exile, the available features here are GP internal, kill, death, me, and much info. Everything, as you can see, when you go to it, you can see what's being written here. So here, for me, it will be returning character name, character level, um, and yeah, so on. So every game again is specific for itself, so that's why we're going to be changing from the Hearthstone features to our Path of Exile features. Let's copy everything from here and replace it. Good, we have replaced everything. Now the next step will be, again, we need to build the project and pack it to Overwolf. The next step is to open Overwolf, go to the cogwheel icon, and inside here, well, about in the overlay hotkeys, if you haven't enabled the specific game that you're working on, just enable it. But if even if you don't, Overwolf is going to ask you when you install the specific plugin, if you would like to enable that game. So everything that we're building for the specific game should be visible and working when we're opening that game. Just giving permissions like any other application. The next part is to go to about section and you have development options. When we open it, the next step is to load unpacked extension. When we click on it, a folder window will pop up that will tell us to select um, the destination where our project is located. So just go to the my application that we just created and inside of it, go to the build up and then click select folder. As you can see, our application is being loaded here now. And the next step usually will be to click launch and then the application should run. But in our case, we need to do one more step before that because if you click launch currently, nothing will happen. What we need to do next is go to the getting started section in the Overwolf site and click submit app proposal. All the links from the video will be in the description, so you don't have to worry about it. Um, now, what's important here is Overwolf, in order for you to be an approved developer, let's just call it like that, you have to submit an idea to Overwolf to tell them, well, I'm going to be using Overwolf to be creating this sort of extension or application or whatever you're, uh, you're just going to be making. It doesn't even need to be anything real you might just think of something on the spot. They just want to see that you're a real person and you're not like malicious enough and they're going to approve you. That's all. And usually they respond like very fast in the next maybe an hour or something. But at most, I guess, 24 hours. So yeah, just submit your name, email, app name, website optional and the idea you have and then just submit it. When they answer your email and like they say, everything is okay. The next step will be just to click the launch button and when we do it, we can see that our window for our application appears. Now, this is the window that will be, you know, that's just visible in our desktop. But of course, there is one more part of this application, which will be when we start our game, we are going to be seeing uh, events in inside our game. So that's what we're after. But yeah, just this is a part of the application. So you can maybe do something here like a um, settings panel or whatever it is, you know, it just depends what your application is doing. When we open our game, the thing that we can see here 
is our in-game window, which we created from the project we got from GitHub. And yeah, that's all we need. Like everything now we do here. For example, if we open some tab, as we can see, we get our events. We just open page passive tree. And if we close it, we just close it. The same as if we go to another zone, another event will appear and which will be current zone, the cost. As you can see, everything is working. And you can imagine how many things you can do with Overwolf, which is very nice because they provide such a cool way of interacting with uh, the games you love. So it makes it much easier, so much easier to just create applications and extensions for them. That was it. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe for more. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment below.